guys, it's Fluffy Becca XO. Because it's Halloween soon, I'm going to be doing like Halloween tutorials for a whole of this week. Um, so today's video, I'm going to be showing you five like quick Halloween ideas if you have no idea what to be and you need to think of something quick and easy. So I hope you enjoy and yeah. Okay, so I'm starting by moving my hair to the side so I can get it out of the way for out the scratches and doing my normal face routine with my foundation. I will link all the products I'm going to be using down below. Um, also, I um, have already done my eyebrows because sometimes it takes me ages to do. So I will do that in another tutorial if you'd like. Comment down below if you guys want to see me do my eyebrows. Um, I am then adding bronzer around the whole of my face, like the outside of it, just to give more definition to the centre of my face, to where the main focus is for the scratches I'm going to be recreating. And yeah. <laughs> Once I have done that, I am grabbing a whitish blue crayon, you can get these from any Halloween store, and I'm just outlining where I want the scratches to be, just for a rough start, so you can clearly see. So I'm starting with doing a small scratch, a large one in the centre, and then another small one, because why not, you know, it just recreates a more realistic look of animal paws there. Finger sizes aren't the same, they're different lengths, so it's just to make a more realistic scratch. After that, I am then grabbing the purple crayon, as you can see here, and filling the inside of the scratch, trying hard not to go on the outside of the whitish blue outlining, just to darken the area to give it more depth and a more 3D look. Then going in with the red crayon to make it seem more real as the inside of the skin has lots of blood and red so it's not going to be purple. Trying hard again not to go on the outside of the white. And then once again going in with the purple just to darken it because we don't have bright red on the inside because it's for blood and dark horrible in it. You know, I'm then going in with a gel eyeliner. The reason why I use the gel one is so the black fades as I use it with my Bobbi Brown pencil, not sure old brush name. Sorry, it's a pencil on your brush. Um, I'm just doing this to outline the parts around the scratch to make it seem more 3D once again. Trying to avoid going over the whitish lines again to add depth as the white represents raised skin for when scratches swell up and also to make the wound seem a lot deeper. So I'm just doing that on all the scratches going around all the sides to give it that realistic look. Also, I would just like to say I am in no means a professional special effects or makeup artist. This is just my outtake on how I would recreate a look if I'm in a rush. This is no means meant to be perfect and meant to be super realistic for it is if you are in a rush and you run out of ideas. That is why I'm mainly using makeup products and products you can easily get hold of for your benefit. So please, I'm not professional. I don't know what I'm doing half the time, I just hope you enjoy how I do it. So I'm going in with the red again, just to make the black lines less harsh I guess, to make it look more realistic again, and also to darken the wound as you can see where the black is smudged in with the red. And then doing it on the outside of the wound, trying to avoid the white, to make it look like my skin is irritated, because that's what it would happen if it was real. I guess. So just going, dabbing it all around. The reason I'm dabbing is to get more realistic effects so it doesn't look like it has just been coloured in. 
I'm then getting the purple to make it seem as if the injury is bruised and just to darken up the inside again to give it that depth and the illusion that it's 3D. So yeah, just having purple to make it seem as if it's bruised as you can see. I accidentally got a bit on the inside so I'm just scratching to get the red off where the white was and continuing on. going over the black again a lot of this is just going over in the same colours until you are happy with the outtake of it and just happy with the result so it's just going over the red so it's not too purple it isn't just going over and over again until I'm happy with it I also decided to grab a white eyeliner pencil just to go over where the white lines were sorry about the camera I place it in the awkward place I'm also filming this in my left hand because of my camera so it's not the best because I'm right handed so I'm just going over the wounds with the white for the outline to make the skin seem more raised because in real life as I said before the shade, there's shading and highlights to make it seem as if it is 3D I'm then smudging the irritated skin parts with the red into my natural skin so it doesn't seem as harsh and it seems more realistic. I then decided to grab a brush to make it more easier to blend out the red. You can use your fingers if you want as I did to begin with, I just last minute decided to use a brush instead. So that is the look so far, I'm not completely done yet. I decided to add more injuries, you can do as many scratches as you would like, as i done. I decided to do a bit on my nose and my forehead as well, scratches on my cheek I decided to do again on my right side because it's just easier for me and I think I made it better. I forgot to add a step but I will get back to that, I'm using Snazaru FX Fake Blood. If you do not have fake blood, do not worry because there is a step beforehand I forgot to do, which I will do in a minute, to make it seem realistic without needing blood, because not all of us can get hold of blood, but if you can, you can order it online or get it from a Halloween store, There's quite a few places where you can get quite cheap fake blood. So as you can see I forgot the step before. And that was the lip gloss. So I've got a Bobbi Brown lip gloss which has glitter and it's a pinkish pigment. But you can use any lip gloss that you can get hold of if it helps. And I'm just dabbing that all around the injuries to make them seem more fresh and wet and horrible and gooey. Just to give off the more realistic effect. If you do not have fake blood on you. Um, i done this on my nephew without fake blood because I didn't want to waste my blood. And I think it turned out really good. So also I would recommend, I find I found it easier to do this look on someone else who I've done myself, but it's honestly up to you, like I've done it on myself as well and I think it turned out okay. Like this is a rushed look, this isn't meant to be really detailed, that's why it's a last minute before, like makeup look if you're not sure what to do. Just stabbing the liquids everywhere, like I said before. Sorry if I keep repeating myself. This is my first voice over, guys, so don't hate me. Um, and yeah. Now for the fake blood. If you do not have it, that is the finished look. Um, so I'm just adding the blood because it makes it seem more realistic 
because if your injury is actually bleeding, it also gives the injury more depth because it darkens it more, it gives different layers of blood and all that stuff, all the lovely stuff you guys love. So just literally adding the blood everywhere and anywhere. You can add as much blood, as less blood as you want, it's completely up to you. I decided to tip some of the blood on. You can do this also, but I realised I raised the bottle too quick and nothing came out, as you can tell by my face. So I just carried on doing the technique I was previously doing. Which takes more time, so if you're in a rush, it's probably not the best way, but it's the only way I could manage, so... You know, I had to make do. You could also use a dark lipstick, like a liquid lip, if you wanted. I think that's quite a good idea. I did when I went to Fort Park Fright Night use my Jesse So Uniform Blood on a Unimite on a wound? What was that word? On a injury on my a wound, I was not saying it was you. That's why I got confused. Okay, so I added Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick Unicorn Blood to add depth because it's a really dark red um, to my cheek because I had like a third degree burn. Um, I'm not sure if I will be doing a tutorial on that, we'll see if I have time. But um, yeah, you can use a liquid lipstick or a lipstick if you want. So last minute I spontaneously decided to add an injury to my lips. So I'm adding a Smashbox lipstick, as I said. All products will be li listed down below. Sorry, first voiceover, not the best. I try to think of what to say, like remember all of it. But yeah. Hope you guys like this video anyway. Comment down below what you think. I am then getting the purple crayon and just bruising my lips up so it doesn't look as sexy as whatever. You can do a sexy look if you want. Like eye makeup with this, I decided not to because I was going with the stranded in the wood sprays and got attacked by some sort of wild animal look. But it's completely up to you. So I'm then adding a dark purple line with a crown on where I want my scratch or injury on my lips to be. Then going over the liner. You do not have to do this part as it was spontaneous. I did not know what I was doing. Never done that before. I've done the scratches before to practice before filming. But this part I did not know what I was doing. So just going over the purple again to make it more bruised. And then using the red to make the purple seem less harsh. And to add the irritating skin effect once again. Then blending it out of my finger again, stop the harshness. You can use lip gloss once again, not sure how it would appear. I just went straight in with the blood for this one. But if you want to use lip gloss again, feel free to. So I just added blood on the injury and I did add a bit on like my lip next to the wound as well. And yeah, honestly that is the finished look of what I got. I hope you enjoyed and I'm just going to show you a few clips of what it looks like. I'd say this look is best either for photos in the dark or from a distance otherwise you can tell that it is not 3D but this is basically a look for if you do not have any latex So I hope you enjoyed this video, comment, rate and subscribe, Fluffy Becca XO for more. I will see you tomorrow in the next video, so I'll show you some photos of how i done it the first time round and how i done it on my nephew which was without fake blood, just to show you, as you see that you do not need fake blood for this look. Also, 
Hashtag Fluffy Becca XO on Twitter and Instagram if you copied or recreated this look because I want to see how you guys done it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Love you.